All right, this is Joshua Jernigan with MandatoryDefenseBoxing.com, and I'm here with John Duddy, Irish John Duddy, uh, right before his big fight coming up tomorrow on the in, in the event. Uh, John, what can you tell us about training camp? How's your weight? Oh, my weight's good, so I'm on the button. You know, uh, not giving away too, too too many ounces after it. You know. Uh, but I had a great training camp up in New York with my coach Harry Kite and Orlando Carrasquil. Sparring was tough, uh, the Golden Gloves was going on up there at the minute, so I got a lot of young middleweights, super middleweights and light heavies knocking me around and, and a good other few professionals up there. And uh, I'm just hungry and excited to get into the ring tomorrow night and, and do the business. Absolutely. Were well, you looking in uh, astounding shape from what I can tell so far? Uh, who were some of the guys you were sparring with in training camp? Uh, do you know what? Was that men? I don't know if I forget. I know all their first names, but I right. forget most of, their, most of their second names. But no, a lot of good New York fighters. Absolutely. Well, you're right there on the cusp of a world title challenge. Uh, Kelly Pavlik is the man of the, of the division. What timetable do you have before you're knocking on the door challenging for his uh, version of the, of the middleweight title? Well, ho hopefully uh, as soon as possible, you know, but it, that's out of my control. The only thing that I can control is fighting Michael Medina. No, on Saturday night, and uh, he's my obstacle and my next step towards getting a shot at that world title or any of the world titles for that matter. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. He, he's a tough, uh, hard uh, fight in the Mexican. You know, he's only had one loss, and I think he's going to be here to try and upset what I'm looking to do. And I'm certainly going to try and stop him, and it's going to be an exciting fight. Absolutely. Well, you're one of the stronger fighters in the division. You have a very crowd pleasing style. I believe your record is 28 1 with 18 knockouts. What, is, is there anything in your opponent's game that you think may give you any trouble whatsoever? Well, he's got a good right hand, so he has, you know, and he's got I think, about 16 or 17 knockouts himself. So uh, I'm, I'm expecting a, a tough close fight, but thoroughly looking forward to it, and I think it's going to uh, get the fireworks off early on, on this great show. Uh, for Manny Pacquiao and Joshua Clotty to get on and get their job done too, you know. But uh, I mean, here in Dallas, fighting at the uh, Cowboy Stadium, can't get any better than this. Absolutely, this is a magnificent stadium down here in Dallas. Uh, it's the beginning of the 2010 boxing year. This is your first fight, I believe, this year so far. Second. Second fight. I'm yeah. sorry about oh, that. Okay. About how many fights do you think you'll be having within this year? Well, hopefully, uh, with injury free and hopefully uh, if I lose success on uh, uh, ones with with. Saturday night. I would like to be in action as, as often as I possibly can, you know. And, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, as a fighter, like, that's the only way you can learn getting under the ring and, and getting the job done and moving forward is only with um, good performances on the ring. So hopefully, the, the more the merrier. All right. Well, there's a lot of outstanding talent in the middleweight division. There's also loads of talent, a division, a division higher in the super middleweight division. As you all know, as we all know, the super middleweight tournament's going on. A lot of fighters there. And plus, if you're not interested in that division, there's a lot of young fighters up and coming in the middleweight division, like Danny Jacobs, yeah. Peter Quillen, and so forth. Uh, what would you think about matching up with some of those guys? Perhaps maybe maybe a year or two in the future. Ah, uh, well, I, I don't think uh, beyond Saturday. To be honest with you, there's no point. But it, it's great to see the the middle with division thriving at the moment, and the divisions are in it as well. It's good to see boxing back on uh, on top again, and, and I think the show's going to be an all firm step. That boxing's one of the biggest games in the world, and I, I'm just proud to be a part of it. All right. Well, the event is going to be a magnificent event. It's going to be maybe around 40,000 plus fans there to get your juices going to put on another stellar performance. Uh, I will see you on fight night. you have any last thoughts for the fans? I just uh, keep watching your screens and it'll be an exciting night. All right. Thanks a lot, Chad. Thank you.